So the Cavs and the Raptors are facing in the second round conference semifinals, and we've just seen their first two games, and the Raptors fall to the Cavs, and they're 0-2. Um, Cavs are winning uh, two games to nothing. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think the Raptors can still beat the Cleveland Cavaliers? To me, it's straight up to... I'm still like going by my, my prediction. I think that Raptors are gonna make are gonna come through and, and I'm, I think they can win at seven just because of the fact that this past two games, as good as, as um the Raptors have scored over hundred points mm-hmm. in both games. Yep. And I and I still think that um, Cavs defense is not as elite as it was last year. And you can see Raptors have easily scored hundred points. And I think they just need to go back to their um, to what they've been, they've been good at this past, you know, how they beat uh, pay, uh, their team, which is the Bucks, which is their defense. They played really good defense, and I think that not everyone in the Cavs are going to make their shots. And I don't know if you feel like that. I mean, LeBron's going to make his shots, just just how good he is. But I, I I don't think that you know the rest of his role players like Fry, Darren Williams, J.R. Smith, Schumper are going to make that kind of shot that they were making when they played them, even in game two when they were hitting shots. What's, what's your prediction? Do you think the Cavs can still win this or do you think the Raptors can come back? Uh, in my opinion, I think Cavs will definitely take it and uh, possibly get back to the you know finals. Um, I think what's happening right now is you know Raptors are kind of shook, especially from those uh, first two games. The way, um, like let's say DeRozan, like, like the way he was playing. His second game was kind yeah, of... Yeah, he only scored five points. Yeah, that's, he was like, uh, for eight know, in uh, the first three quarters. Yeah, that's uncalled for for a, you know all-star player. Right. And I think, honestly, in my opinion, I think Cavs can win it in six. The Raptors might be able to win a few games, but it just... Right now, people, a lot of people believe that the Raptors are... They might get swept, and mm. they're, not, they're not together. In my opinion, they need to use JV. They need, they, Which they did. We've their, seen we've seen JV play like a lot of like very well, and JV's like great. Yeah, it was great when he's fa- facing the Cavs, and they don't use him a lot, and they just do the, the, the regular Demar Derozan ISO, Kyle Lowry ISO. Which I mean, it, it's it works, but it's not going to work against the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. We're, yeah. we're pretty good when we use JV inside because Tristan Thompson, he could defend JV pretty good, but not like well. And JV has been his game on game in game two was. Amazing. They just if they go back to that. I his performance was amazing in game two, but exactly. it just like it was kind of a waste that it was it was gone. Yeah, it, and I think that's key that the fact that they have the biggest guy and the more talented offensive guy in their team as opposed to what the Cavs has. Like, because I don't think Tristan, Tristan Thompson can defend JV in the yeah. inside, and I think that's what they should go back more. And and the fact that they have proven shooter now with Ibaka that he can make that shot. Like, if you watch that game. They're leaving Ibaka open, and he's making shots. If you punish them inside with JV, and you have Ibaka picking up shots, like, uh, it, 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 but the key is that Lowry has to stay and has to play because if Lowry's not there penetrating and creating shots mm-hmm. for everyone, I don't think they can last even five, six games. That's you know. Absolutely. But the thing is, last year this has happened to them before. They yeah. were down, and they came back and won two games against the Cavs. And and they done it with with you know it's just I feel like LeBron right now is on a different level than he was the past yeah. 15 years and he's been really playing right so it's just, it's a different story but I feel like they are more they are more of a competitive team than any other team in the East that can that can really take into the Cavs as well. Do you have anything else to say about the the series? Uh, I agree with uh, what you guys said. Um, you know, go with the center. You know, Jonas because um, if you see game two, it's they're pretty much going to Jonas instead of. Um, the Rosen, right, and they have no answer for that. Like exactly, yeah. Cleveland really has no, you know, big man that can, you know, uh, defend or you know score like Jonas, right? And uh, Ibaka's playing well too. So even though LeBron is, you know, kind of toying with Ibaka, um, Ibaka's still hitting his shots. But now for for Raptors to have a chance, the um, the All Stars have to step up and the role players too. Yep. And uh, I'd say you know they gotta play. Norman Powell, man. Yeah. You know, he's the X factor. You know, uh, he played great, you know. The, Guarding LeBron. Yeah. And uh, also uh, against uh, the Bucks. So um, once, um, you know, Dwayne Casey changed uh, Norman Powell for, uh, let's say, uh, DeMar Carroll, you know, they had a better chance of winning. So, you know. Yeah. I mean, like, in a sense, there's still a lot of time. It's, I don't think it's over yet. So yeah. what do we got in terms of prediction? So you got Cavs in six. I got Raptors in seven. What do you got? I got Cavs in six as well. Cavs in six. So I'm the only one that has Raps <laughs> on their hands. So whoever is a Raptor fan, 
believe in them because I think they're going to pull through this.